Alright, hey YouTube, Nate here with TheMediaStomp.com with a iMac G4 hard drive replacement. So, as some of you may know, I've had this iMac G4, I think since the summer. It's my aunt's old iMac G4 and the hard drive just uh, gave up on her. So we are going to try to replace it today. Uh, two things I'm a little nervous about. One, I'm not the savviest tech, or savviest person when it comes to um, actual computer hardware. I've done some simple RAM replacements in the past, and some disk, disk drive replacements, and I've taken computers like my iMac G3 apart and back together just for fun. But this one is a little more complicated, because we kind of really just have to work from the bottom up to get to the hard drive, and you're going to have to go through a lot of layers to get to that, because it's built as an all-in-one, and it's such a small all-in-one, it's going to be a little difficult. So we're going to see how that goes, and the other thing I'm scared about is... My aunt thought th she threw all of the disks away for it, but there is a disk in here because when I boot um, from disk, it gives me the Mac OS X installation. Now she t she says that she doesn't think it's a DVD drive because DVDs weren't around when the iMac came out is what she told me, um, but of course DVD players were on the iMac G3 even as far as I know, um, super drives. So of course the iMac G4 did ship with the option for a super drive. Whether or not my aunt and uncle took that, since apparently she didn't even know DVDs existed, we'll find out. Um, why I'm nervous about this, if there's already a CD installation in here, why do I care? Well, because if it's CD, there's multiple CDs that require that are required to install Mac OS X. So, we're going to see what happens. Either it goes through the entire Mac OS X installation when we're done, when we're done or it just says, um, insert disk 2, and I honestly don't know what I'm going to do when that happens. Um... I'm probably going to see, talk to Apple. Um, I have heard from someone that they can send you uh, free discs if you lose them, but I don't even know if they still have iMac G4 uh, discs available, so that's going to be interesting to find out. Um, if that doesn't work, um, we're going to find out, look for some on eBay maybe, or I've seen other people say you can like boot from an external hard drive if you get Mac OS X on there. I don't know, we'll figure something out, but I just want this thing running. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we got the iMac G4 all ready to go. And uh, I apologize in advance, my room is kind of a mess. Uh, over here we got uh, every screw I could find. I just wanted to make one trip down to the hardware room and get everything I needed. Hopefully I won't have to go down there and scavenge for something else. Uh, hopefully something will be in there. Some envelopes so I can put screws in and label them on the outside. And then over here we got my 80 gigabyte Seagate hard drive representing Seagate. Um, one of their headquarters is in Shakopee where I live, so it's pretty cool. Um, 80 gigabytes. Uh, I think the iMac G4 Max is out at 128. So this will be just fine. Um, got this for about 20 bucks. A new egg, not bad. And then we got a thermal compound, which, like I said, I'm not the savviest when it comes to hardware, but I know that there is some thermal compound that I'm going to be removing when I take this apart, so I just have to replace it with this. And pretty much what it does is just uh, spread out the heat evenly, so it, all the heat doesn't go onto one spot and uh, wreck whatever component is there, I believe is what its job is. Um, over here we got the MacBook Pro to tell me how to do this. Uh, I got some videos on YouTube that will hopefully help me along the way. And finally, can't forget the Lunchable and the Minnesota Twins mug full of Mountain Dew to get me through this. So, um, let's start by taking off the bottom and go from there. Wish me luck. Alright, first layer is gone and here is the easy stuff. Um, if I wanted to replace the RAM, it would go right in here. And here's where the airport card would go. Um, that would be the airport one, not the airport extreme. And then it would plug right into here. As you can see, this will still taped nicely. So it has this plastic on it. So obviously, I'm the first person to go into here to do some work. Um, makes me all the more nervous. So, on to the next layer. Holy dust. I'm going to go have to see if I can have a duster anywhere. I should have thought of that sooner, obviously. Um, that kind of sucks, but uh, hopefully I can find one. I don't want to have to pick out all this dust by hand. But here's the inside. Um, until I unplug these cables here, which I'll get to, 
I can't really get a great look because it's kind of all hauled together. But um, as you can see, down here is the bottom base still with the power button and all the good, good old connectors. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go see if I can find a duster and then we'll go from there. Alright, so maybe before I was wrong because here seems to be the RAM um, able to replace. And I thought it was on the outside here. But uh, maybe that's for extra RAM? Or maybe that's just something else. I don't... No, whatever. I'm not going to claim to know anything when I don't. Um, so here is pretty much the computer. Everything you need to know. Um, up here is where we got to get to. The hard drive and the disk drive are up here. Um, I unplugged the power supply and the IDE cable. Um, I know that you can kind of work with these two. This can unscrew, I think, and that I can take off. But I think I'm going to make this a little harder for myself and work around them, because um, honestly I'm a little nervous about touching stuff that I think I might break. Um, like I said, I don't claim to be an expert at any of this. Um, I'm definitely more of an internal computer guy um, making programs, not making computers to run the programs. So uh, let's see what we can do. Um, hopefully we can get to that hard drive. See you soon. And the first problem. Um, this probably won't focus very well, but that is a torque screw there. There's about six of them I need to take out. Um, here's my only cork, torque screw, the uh, one I used for the outside of the machine, um, and it's too big. I searched a pretty good portion of the tool room. I looked everywhere that made sense. I, I honestly can't find anything that looks like this. So I'm going to check the garage, just to double check, but um, I think we're going to be having to go to hardware store really quick and see if I can find just one screwdriver. Um, hopefully I don't have to buy a whole set or something. Um, it's worth a try, I guess. Um, yeah, out of this whole thing of screws, screwdrivers, um, nothing works. Um, I appreciate Apple using different sized torque screws so I can tell them apart. I just wish they weren't torque screws, maybe Phillips even, just a regular screwdriver. Uh, whatever, um, time to get going. To the hardware store, I guess. Uh, hopefully I'll be back soon. Alright, so instead of going to the tool store, I was able to just uh, borrow this screwdriver set from the father of the lovely Miss Sammy Kelly. So, uh, let's see what we can do with this now. Hopefully it works. So this was really mean to me to get out, but um, here we have it finally. Uh, here's the rest of the device. Um, hard drive is lying on top of the disk drive here, which... I still don't see anywhere on there if it's CD or DVD, so that's going to be interesting to find out. Up here we have the fan, and um, that's pretty much it for the device. Um, there's some stuff up here, which I'm not sure is. So uh, let's see what we can do with this hard drive here. Um, hopefully we can get the new one in. Alright, so here we have the old hard drive. Um, 40 gigabytes, so we'll be doubling it, it appears. Um, this was not nice to me taking out, I actually had to use pliers, so I'm hoping that wasn't the problem, like, hopefully that didn't get stuck in there and broke the hard drive or something, or, or wouldn't, uh, give power to the hard drive, or something crazy like that. If that's the case, I don't even know where I would, what I would do, but, um, hopefully it was just a stubborn cable and nothing more. So, yeah, here's the old hard drive, time to get the new one in. See you soon. All right. Everything back up in here. I got these plugged in. Now I got to put the thermal compound here um, and screw it in and make sure this gets plugged into there. So it's going to be interesting. Um, kind of a little nervous, but we'll find out what happens, I guess. All right, so I'm about to test her out, but I'm um, kind of sticking up a little back here, so I might have to fix that. Um, I'm going to see if it works first, at least, and. If it doesn't, then we'll have to see where we go from there. Uh, let's go. Okay, so all I'm really hoping for at this point is that it turns on, but um, even that might be a miracle. It's a beautiful sound. Well, there you have it. No destination for Mac OS X still. So, uh, don't know what I did wrong. Awesome. Alright, so it's Saturday now, it's been a day already, I just got done taking apart the iMac, 
checking all the cables, making sure everything was in place, turn it back on, and of course, still no destination to select for the hard drive. So, um, kind of sucks. I did post some stuff on MacRumors forums, try to get some answers, couldn't get any. I've been Googling, I can't find any. Um, so, this video is going to go up on YouTube. Um, sorry, it's going to be kind of pointless. Hopefully, someone out there can help me out. Um, I'm going to still look around, see what I can find. Otherwise, either I did something wrong, I did it right, and I'm missing a step before I can install Mac OS X, or the computer has something else wrong with it that I am not aware of. I figured it had to be the hard drive, um, but I don't know what else it could be if it's not showing up still for Mac OS X. So, um, yeah, uh, one thing that I did possibly think, but no one really seemed to back me up on this one in the Mac Rumors forum, so, and I, I don't really know if this is the case, I don't, I doubt it, um, because I still think the hard drive would show up here faded away. I just thought because this installation disk I actually think is an upgrade disk, that it would be looking for a hard drive that currently has Mac OS 9 on it. But since it lists Mac OS 10 install CD right on there, um, I know that that wouldn't be the case. Also, I before I talked about the dilemma versus CD versus DVD, it clearly says on here right right there Mac OS 10 install CD six, 646 megabytes. So there's definitely multiple CDs. So even if I did fix this thing, I just realized I wouldn't be able to do anything with it, so that's lovely. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll go on eBay someday, find an iMac G4 for parts, and just take that hard drive and put it in, if they have a good hard drive. Maybe that'll do it. I don't know. We'll figure something out. For now, thanks for watching. Hopefully this dilemma gets solved in the future, but probably won't get solved for a while. It was a valid attempt. Glad I did it, but kind of stinks that I still don't get to use this thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out TheMediaStomp.com. See ya.